Hi gang, Terry Gilmore, windcompanion.com. I'm outside today with my new Kodak ZI-8 video camera. Um, thought I'd come down here to the loft and show you the uh, what my hookup looks like. Uh, the actual plug-in of the clock and the scanner and the computer. Okay, so here we are looking at the uh, Unicon clock. This would be the module. This is your data logger. <laughs> the uh, this is the this is not a serial cord. It connects in the side of the clock and goes to the PC. And this particular PC is a, a laptop with a Windows Vista 64-bit. Uh, has um, a, a USB cord to a serial cord adapter. So this little short cord that I've got here, this is the Unicon cord. You've got to buy this from Deister or make it yourself. And I do have a wiring diagram for it. But it's a female to female end. And most of your laptops today are not going to come with a serial port. So you have to buy one of these adapters. They're about 30 bucks. I got this one at Radio Shack. It practically installs itself. You got to put a CD in the in the uh, your CD ROM and and uh, install a driver for it. And so then you just plug it in. And now this one is connected to the PC, which is a wireless PC. The signal from this PC is going back to my house, which is about 125 feet away. And that uh, our wireless router in the house then has internet access and so we're getting this PC is going back to the router and then we're going up to the internet from the connection in the house and ours is a it's a uh, I don't know a, a broadband line of sight some kind of a radio frequency thing I'm not real sure about the technical part of it and then of course out the back of the clock this is a regular serial cord now this thing you can buy at Radio Shack or Fry's or any place and this goes from the back of the clock to your antenna. So that's your, that would be your normal setup. So on race day, this is the way you would hook the thing up. You'd get your, your uh, special Deister serial cord from the clock to the PC. I'm gonna have to use a USB adapter. Plugs into a USB port. And that's about all there is to it. Okay, so now the next way to connect up would be, uh, we're not going to use this PC, this is out. <laughs> we're going to get a, uh, this female to female cord that comes from Deister. We're going to have a long one made from the clock, goes in the side of the clock, up to the computer upstairs, which also has the same internet access that the wireless computer has. And that particular one is plugged in by a Cat5 cable. It's a desktop model and uh, plugs right into your um, your wireless modem or wireless router, which sends it through the modem up to the internet. But basically, this would be just a hardware setup, and that's the way I had it uh, last year. The only drawback to that is every time you got to start Wincom, you have to go in the house, upstairs, over the garage, and turn the program off down the stairs, back out here, wait for the birds to arrive. Then, after the birds start arriving, now if you want to find out how you did, back to the house, up the stairs, over the garage, see how you did. About that time you see some more birds coming, so you're running down the stairs, back out here. So, I went and bought me this $399 Dell laptop, and it, uh, I got it from uh, Staples. And again, it's a Windows Vista 64-bit. The machine that's upstairs that we can use the long cord for, it's uh, running uh, Windows XP. So at the moment, we've got the thing, uh, Wincom runs on Windows XP, runs on Vista, um, all the versions up to the 64-bit, and uh, that's about it. So that, that's, that's really the two main ways, is with a cord or with a wireless laptop. The advantage to the wireless laptop, of course, you can have the race report displaying there and Wincom 
running in the background so you're clocking your pigeons and you're able to watch the races live right here on your laptop. I usually keep it in the feed room but I brought it outside here to shoot this video. Just thought I'd uh, put things in perspective for you. That's the, the window up over the garage there and my desktop is just inside of that window. So I have a cord and now that's that special one that's made by Deeser. That particular one was made by a member of our club, Don Chapin. Anyhow, so I drag it out that window down the driveway over here to my loft. And I don't know if you can see it or not, that there's a little shelf right there on the end of the Avery. And that's uh, where my clock would normally sit when I was hooked up direct with a wire. Now the longest distance I've done those wires successfully is around 150 feet or less. I tried one at 165 feet uh, for uh, Dan Welsh down there at Shasta Classic and it didn't work. So uh, the manual is going to tell you 100 feet is max for that type of cord and uh, that is probably true.